Hey, 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 friend. How are you today? Thanks for joining me for another episode of Side Hustle Growth Podcast. If you're new here, I'm your girl, CJ. Welcome. And if you're already part of the crew, what up? You know what you got to do. You have to let me know what's going on. New or familiar, find me on IG at Kristen and James and fill me in on how things are going. Oh, oh, oh. I love being able to say this. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe, like, comment, share, all them good things. Any platform you're on, your wonderful feedback is always, always so very, very appreciated. Especially, I feel like after today's episode, you're going to want to hail me up and give me a five-star review. I'm just saying. Why is that? Because we're talking about starting a side hustle, yo, in 2024. This is a updated version of the first episode from January 2023, where I share the six W's to starting a side hustle. It's essentially a continuation from that. So, you know, be sure to go back and check out that episode. But like with everything as time progresses, you know, there are things that change, but the core of it all is still very much the same. Okay. But you can go back, check it out, check out the original and, um, and compare if you want to compare the notes, if you want to. So something to note before we get into it to think is, as I mentioned, things change and there's also things that trend. Think about the trends and the impact they may have on you. So like, are you starting this side hustle because it's trending? It's, you know, you want to make some extra income, easy extra income, or you might think it's easy, or is this something that's resting on your heart? Listen, I'm all about following your heart. Just make sure it's all in the right place. So at the end of the day, everything makes sense for you. You don't want this to become an expensive hobby. And I don't want that for you. You do not want this to become an expensive hobby, right? Think about like, how would you feel if you were not to have this side hustle anymore? I challenge you with that. I've had people say to me, yeah, CJ, like I'm fine if this doesn't work out. Okay, that's great. But I'm a side hustle success coach. So we're obviously not a fit if you don't care about the success of your side hustle. See what I'm going here with this? Okay, so let's, before we get into it, let's talk about refining your idea, okay? Like literally refining your idea, taking that spark and turning it into like a laser focused like concept from ideation to creation. So we're not stopping at the what, we're diving into the how of making your idea not just unique, but irresistibly valuable. And if you've hung out with me before, you know it's all about alignment. It's all about what makes sense for you. But refining your idea, one of the very first things, let's jump right into it. Enough yammering, CJ. Let's jump right into it. Getting specific about your business. So last year's episode, I would have called this the what. Of the six W's, this is the what. First things first, what is your business all about? Your side hustle all about? Get really, really specific. Like your idea might be so amazing, but what about it are you drawn to? What makes it stand out for you and also ultimately for your client and your customer? Like what problem are you solving? What is the root of that problem? What result are you offering? Let's turn that idea, like we're going from ideation to creation. Let's turn that idea into a compelling business that's going to thrive. So do a brain dump of all your ideas and see what really makes sense when you're trying to conceptualize this, this business and make it into a thing. Sometimes it just takes getting them all out of your head to really realize the direction you want to take things in. And also what could be a shiny object? Because when you want to start something, especially starting your own venture, 
You have so many, and you're excited about it. You have so many great ideas. Like, oh my God, I can do this, I can do this, and I can be, and then the next thing, and then after. But once you write it all out, do a brain dump. I highly, highly recommend it. Write everything down. It doesn't have to even have any rhyme or reason. Just get it all out of your head. See what really makes sense. See what jumps out at you. See what doesn't make sense right now. You're just like, okay, yeah, that that's that was wild. <laughs> that doesn't even fit right now. This is also a good time to think about your bandwidth, your level of commitment, your expectations. How much can you invest in order to get started? One, and how much do you want to earn in order to really make it a profit so it becomes another stream of income, that you're confident in it being a stream of income? So when you're thinking about the idea, also think about what you can really take on on top of everything else, because it's a side hustle. So you have a life, you have a full-time job. I'm sure you love to enjoy your life and travel and you have hobbies and you have loved ones and you just like to get out and enjoy everything else. Can you take this on right now? Okay. So be really specific with your, your ideas and getting what you want to, to really turn into a business and also think about the other different parts of it as well. And you next step is identifying your niche. So did we not just do an episode on this CJ? Yes, we did. So you can just do a little scrolly scroll, like literally don't scroll too much. <laughs> don't scroll. Let's scroll back to last month when I talked about the importance of having a niche as a side hustler. It's a teeny tiny scroll, teeniest, tiniest scroll. Don't go scrolling crazy because there are episodes all the way back to, what is it? 2021. And here we are in 2024, just to last month, a tiny scroll and you can check it out. See, I love niching down and talking about niching down, like I explained in that episode, because it helps you to speak the language of the people who need you. Okay. It's like having a conversation in a room of friends instead of shouting in like a crowded stadium. So who needs your product or service? Like identify the ideal person who is, when you are on that stage and you are speaking, who's really consuming your content, who's really taking in and paying attention to what you're saying and, and can't wait to, to learn more from you or to just buy from you. This is also a really, really good time to think about who you don't want to work with. Okay. Can we talk about it? We're always talking about the ideal client. Let's talk about who we don't want to work with. How about that? It's okay to have to say no to some folks. Alignment really is key when building relationships. This may be a shorter list, but it can help with also with discerning what to say and also what not to say, because we're not trying to please everyone. That is virtually impossible. We are not trying to speak to everyone and to please everyone. Please don't try to do that. Please don't go about it like that. That's not what this is about. This is also a good time to consider working with your own who, a coach, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, who can give you insights and guidance so you don't waste time and ultimately money on unnecessary resources. You make that one solid investment and I may know someone, wink, wink, a nudge, nudge. <laughs> Think about your who you're showing up for and who you want to show up for you. Who want to you who you feel like you need in your corner? Who needs to support you? This is a huge undertaking. And as much as this side hustle idea, this side hustle is yours, it's your baby. The support is so, so, so key. It's so, so, so crucial. So I would highly recommend you take that into consideration as well. Now we're good talking about showing up where it matters. So this is the where. Social media is vast. Let's talk about the social media thing. It is vast. But you don't have to be everywhere. I will always say that. You do not have to be everywhere. So let's figure out where you want to hang out, where your people are hanging out. What platforms do they prefer? And how can you meet them there? What kind of content do you have to produce that they will consume? It's about quality and not quantity. You do not have to try to be 
every on every single platform doing all of the things. If you need to start with one platform, then start with one platform. If that's where your people are, the people you want to serve, the people whose lives you want to improve with your product or service, then by all means, that's where you need to be. And again, on that note, you can think about where you want to avoid or where you don't feel like you fit in. You need to feel like you fit in or you want to spend your time because your time is already so precious. We don't have as much. You don't have 40 hours a week as somebody who's doing this full time. Your time is already so precious. Don't waste it in places that don't feel right to you. If it doesn't feel right or natural to you, you just won't show up authentically, if at all. So think about that where you don't want to be. And if it's it's okay, if even if your ideal client is in that place, or you feel like they're in that place, but you feel like showing up there doesn't make sense for you, there may be somewhere else that they're showing up that will make sense for you, right? So that's where it's important to do your research. See where they're hanging out. If you need to learn a new platform, find find someone that can support you through that. So you're not figuring it all out on your own. I see it all the time with clients where they're trying to figure out all these different moving parts so that they can show up in and for their side hustle. And they're scrambling, trying to learn how to, to manage the, the, the platform or the software, whatever it is, on top of being able to show up for their clients. So you don't have to do it all alone, okay? Now, here we get into the timing. Timing your business strategy. So the when, if you will. Because... Timing is everything, my friend. So when does someone buy from you? Let's talk about like generating leads, nurturing relationships, understanding the journey from a lead to a sale. Your business strategy's timing can make all of the difference. So how much are you putting into your strategy? What's the turnaround time? How are you going to nurture these relationships? How long is, will it take to take for someone to go from finding you to finding out about you to a sale? Like what does that process look like for you? Also think about even creating an urgency. Paint the picture of what it would be like if they don't buy from you. So they want to buy from you sooner. You know what I mean? Create that urgency. Like, yeah, you need this. Here's why you need this. And here's why you need it now. And so that by the end of it, like, yeah, you're absolutely right. Like, for example, I would say, listen, side hustler, if you don't take control of your time now, you're saying you're not happy in nine to five. You say you want to do your own thing. You say you want to leave your nine to five. You're not a lifer at your nine to five. You want to start something. If you don't start taking control of your time now, you'll end up feeling stuck at this nine to five longer than you needed to and waste precious time saying yes to someone that in turn makes you say no to yourself. Make yourself a priority. How would your life look different? How would your life improve if you were to take a chance on yourself sooner? See what I mean? Like just create it and create that scenario in their head. It was like, yeah, that's you're right, CJ. Let's get started now. And that's usually how it goes. It's not even about creating an urgency. It's just about, for me, talking to a side hustler is about making themselves a priority. You say yes to your nine to five all the time, say yes to yourself and see where that takes you. Okay. Okay. Bringing it back. I went off on a tangent. We're coming back. We're coming back. Because now we want to talk about, we just got into the timing of your business strategy, right? We want to unpack the why. Let's talk about the why. Why are you starting this side hustle? What's driving you? And equally important, why would someone choose your business over others? What is your secret so sauce? Let's explore the why that sets you apart and makes your business irresistible. Also, think about why now. Did something change at your nine to five or in your life? Did something, have you been putting it off long enough? Did something ignite a spark in you? Are you just ready to finally have your own thing? Why now? Why are you starting this side hustle? Here we are in 2024, you're listening to this episode and you're like, yeah, this episode is coming at the perfect time because now, why now? Think about that as well. And also 
crafting a unique customer experience. That is the how. We're wrapping things up now. Finally, how is your business going to help your customers, your clients? What will their lives look like after buying from you? How will their lives improve? How can you make them feel? Customer experience is key in retaining clients. It really, really is. So think about the experience. As you're going through the experience of what it's like to start this side hustle, this is the beginning. Think about the end of when that person buys from you, those people buy from you, and how they want to feel, that whole experience, and then also retaining them. Let's create an experience that keeps them coming back. That not only they come back, they tell others about you, they're jumping on Google or on your website to write that five-star review. And they just want to sing your praises because you have created this experience for them. And also think about how you feel starting your own venture. If this is your first one, maybe, you know, you got a couple side hustles. You've done this a few times before, but if this is, especially when it's your very first side hustle, your very first, think about that. How you feel starting your own venture And how do you want to feel? Oh my gosh, how do you want to feel starting a side hustle and having a thriving business, a successful side hustle? All of this alignment will help you when creating your plan and setting your goals. When setting those goals, you think about not just your desired outcome. If I do this, this is what I want to happen. It's also about how you want to feel as a result of that outcome. What is all of this for if you don't want to feel good? You want to feel accomplished. You want to feel in control and feel proud. Whatever, however you want to feel. You want to feel supported. You want to feel seen. Whatever it is. How you? How do you want to feel after once you've started and you're running and you're growing and you're thriving as a side hustler? So now you can create your brand and marketing strategy. Your brand is your essence. And your marketing strategy is like the vehicle that propels it forward. So it's all about creating a brand that resonates. So your marketing strategy not only gets attention, but it converts. That's what it's about. At the end of the day, you want to convert it into sales. You are trying to generate an income, a consistent income. Your brand is not just about colors and your logo and your website. Those are all key. It's about the essence of you, what people know and remember about you, what people are saying about you. Even when you're not in the room, your your name comes up, your business name comes up. What, what are people saying about you? Think of it as a burger. You know, I'm going to give an example. I'm going to give an analogy. But think of it as a burger. So the brand is like the meat, the important part. The toppings are the colors and et cetera, et cetera, that make it complete. So everything comes together to make your brand. But what is the meat of everything here, the essence of you? That is truly, truly, truly the core of it when it comes to your brand. And there are so many moving parts to a proper marketing strategy that not only leads to sales, but consistent sales. Spending time on everything covered today in today's episode contributes to your marketing strategy, which is essentially how and where you show up, how people will find you or find out about you, how to draw them in, turn them into leads, and then turn those leads into sales, and then repeat So please have a strategy, whatever the side hustle is, even if there's so many ideas, especially when you think outside the box for side hustle, if you know you want want to turn it into something sustainable, please have a strategy. It's not just about like, I'm good at this thing, so I'm just going to make it and sell it to people and it'll be great. Always, always, always think about a strategy. If you think strategically when you're setting those goals, thinking about your time, thinking about your capacity, thinking about your expectations, what you can do, when, where, why, and how. This is why we go through the six W's. It's not about posting and praying. That is not the move for 2024. We are not posting and praying in this big, big 2024, okay? We are past that. Creating content is one thing. And content strategy 
is a whole other thing. So when you're planning your goals, you're figuring everything out, you listen to this episode. Also, yes, I'm talking about the, the, the feeling of it. When I coach, I have three pillars, emotions, mindset, and strategy. How you're feeling is definitely important. What you're thinking is super important, but also what you are going to do, how you're going to move through this strategically. So there you have it. The 2024 essentials of starting a side hustle. The planning is key so you can set realistic goals and manage your time effectively. I cannot say that enough. And if you need support, book a 15-minute vibe check with your girl, CJ. Let's have the conversation. It is a 15-minute conversation. We can take things from there. Maybe we'll vibe. Maybe we won't. I'm not saying we'll vibe. I'm not here to vibe with everyone, okay? It's keeping it real. But the only way, there's only one way to find out. And come on, you know we're going to vibe anyway. You know we're going to vibe. Come on. So book the call with me. The link is right there in the description. You can check it out. And it takes a couple seconds. And you'll be on my calendar. And I can't wait to chat with you. Also, you can get the free guide to a short term. Talking about strategy again. So your side hustle quarterly success. Grab it, then try it out, see how it works out for you. Maybe when you book the 15-minute vibe check, maybe that'll be a reason to book the 15-minute vibe check. Maybe you need some more insight from me. I did create it for you to make it easier for you to set up, set your goals, but maybe you need some more feedback. So we can talk about that when you book your call. Remember, okay, you're starting to decide hustle in 2024. 2024 is your year. It's, it's February, okay? Actually, no, it's March. I don't even know. It's a, that's how the time is flying <laughs> right now. It is March. So we're wrapping up Q1, essentially. So we're wrapping up Q1. And Q1 is always, I find, the most crucial quarter. So if you haven't started, you want to get started, you know what to do. Whether you do or you don't, you have made a choice. All I'm saying, my friend, is to choose you. I will see you. I will talk to you next week unless you book that vibe check with me. Thanks for hanging with me and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.